Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your daily messages for today, Wednesday, February 7th, 2018. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. So sorry about yesterday's morning cards, guys. I just was not feeling all that great, but I feel fabulous today. So I do apologize for that. Okay, past, present, future. So you're coming into the reading with the energy of the full um, Tarot Illuminati. Amazing deck. So you have taking, you've taken a risk, a chance on a situation, took a leap of faith, started a new beginning. This could have been a new job, new relationship. You took a chance to start something, something that's going to make you very, very happy. For some of you, I feel like this new beginning to a dream that you have, like it really is like a dream, a wish come true for you. The Six of Pentacles, this is about balance. Restoring balance in your life. It's also a generous energy. It's that give and take. Looking for something that you could invest in. That's going to pay you back. Getting what you deserve for all of your hard work and effort that you put into something. Feeling as if all of your hard work is for, is, is for nothing. Same thing with relationships. You know, family relationships. Like, you could have left a relationship because it wasn't fair. Maybe you were doing all the work. Maybe you were taken for granted. Expected to do and give more and more. Like, you want true love. You want a true love partner that's going, that's going to be equal going to be that's going to be an equal investment in that relationship you know both of you working to you know to make it the most beautiful relationship that it can be and being filled fulfilled by just the knowing that you're working on the relationship just as hard as they are working on the relationship it's as important to you as it is to them. It's looking for that balance. It's that that no more roller coaster ride. No more playing mind games. No more getting your hopes up just for them to be shot down. Just looking for what you deserve. For the work, the resources that you put in. Looking for affection that you put into a situation. And that's what you're looking for. You know, that's when you're starting to walk down this new path. That's the direction you're going. Some of you with the lovers, this could be attracting the right soulmate, the one. Could also be on the job, career front, finding a job that's truly part of your process, your purpose. Process. I don't know why I said that. It's part of your purpose. Maybe for some of you it has been a process. But part of your purpose that you could just fall in love with. Falling in love with the work that you're doing. It's all about emotional fulfillment and emotional rewards. Where it's not just about the money anymore. It's not about your rep your reputation, your financial security. You're really looking for more. You're looking deeper. You're wanting something more fulfilling, like all the way around. Something that's that's going to be very, be a very positive influence in your life. Yeah, 
and a source of give and take and balance and peace and harmony. You know, sixes represent that. And you do have two sixes with the six of pentacles. And the lover's card is also a six. So it's all about... This is what you're looking for. Peace, harmony. I see it here too. Balance as well in your approach. These are the Ascendant Masters, balance, career, and home life. So it is all about balance, moderation. Take your time. Do things the right way. Everything in moderation. If you're not sure what direction you want to go in, you could experiment. Try different things before you decide. But it, it really is all about balance, moderation, a balanced approach to where, okay, you're doing this and you're paying attention, you're being receptive in, in terms of how you feel about this. You know, wondering, you know, is it balanced? Is it equal? Is it mutual? And if not, you might have to change that, you know, and go through a couple of different changes until you find the path of peace and balance and harmony. You know, that's fine. Just, it's just saying everything in moderation. Try not to get overwhelmed. Try not to do everything too quickly. Because sometimes the fool does, you know, jump into things. Doesn't really have a plan, just goes for it. And, some, and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. Because when the fool gets himself into a situation, it could become complicated and messy because things weren't, you know, thought through carefully or there wasn't a plan in place. So it could become difficult, you know, to then, to then backtrack and you, and then you have to just, uh, to start fresh all over again. Just take your time with it. And whatever it is, th there is a lot of excitement and enthusiasm with the fool. It, you know, it is the start of a new path. The, fo it is the, the, the fool... The, the start of a new path, and that's how it should be. That That's how you know that you're on the right path when you're passionate and excited about it. When you get up every morning looking forward to doing what you, what you, what you do, you're excited about it. And, you know, you're very happy. That's how you know that you're on the right path. The message is a balanced approach. Everything in moderation and take your time. You will get there. And whatever it is for you, relationship, job, career, take a balanced approach. Take your time and it'll all turn out fine. Beautiful. I love it. All right, guys. I hope it helps you guys out for the day. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I will see you guys back here very soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.